today, folks, I want to talk to my man, Fernando, about his side-by-side -side duplex, brother. Fernando, I know you're newer, and uh, you're trying to learn the business as we invest, which is awesome because that's kind of like, you know, our whole stick, right? That's kind of like my vision of how working with me goes. So hopefully I'm going to teach you a little bit of something today about the Cleveland market, about investing in multifamily, about out-of-state investing. I'm going to teach you a little bit of something while also going over actual numbers and performance metrics on this particular property that I think you should buy because it's a banger of a deal. But before I get into all that, I got to let everybody else out here know who's watching your video, Fernando. Folks, I sent this to Fernando in a private video link like six or eight or 10 or 12 months ago, okay, to work with me in real time, to have me understand what you're trying to do to go over your wants, your needs, your goals and set you up at properties like this one, uh, you need to book a call below this video after you're done watching the show, of course, right? You got you to gotta watch the show. Hopefully, you're subscribing to Holton Weiss TV while you're doing it. But after that, you could book a free call and figure out how you can work with me in real time like me and Fernando are doing, right? So, like, if you're not Fernando out there, folks, like, you don't need to call my office asking me to buy this particular property. Like, don't be like, yo, 1851 East 37 I want to buy it. It ain't available, man. Now I know you didn't even pay attention to the video. Why are you calling us? Damn. You're one of those guys, you're like the tenant. You're like the tenant out there who like sees an ad on freaking Zillow and it's like three bed, one bath, 800 bucks a month. And you call, you're like, ah, I saw the ad. How many beds? The ad that said three bed, one bath, 850 a month? Yeah. Three. How many baths? One. How much is it? It's in the fucking, that's what that fucking ad says, dog. Don't be that person, guys. Uh, so yeah. Assuming we're all on the same page, let's get into the numbers, Fernando. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you make money. I'm going to be running the numbers on a real deal. You want to be here. Yeah, we're going to go out of state, but of course, you know my team's going to take care of that. Let's check it out. Welcome to the show, y'all. My name is James Wise, and this is the deal. This is the only photo of the deal that I have for you guys. That's all the listing agent and the seller put online, but it tells us everything we need to know, okay? What this is, is a duplex, but it's a duplex that's different than the majority of duplexes. This is a side-by-side -side duplex, right? This is one unit. This is the other unit. In this market, right, the Cleveland, Ohio market, right? Now, this particular property, this is in Lorain, Ohio, so it's like a half hour west of Cleveland, uh, but it's generally the Cleveland market, right? So when I speak about the Cle you know, Cleveland, I don't mean the city of Cleveland. I just mean the greater area, right, northeast Ohio. Holton Wise, we operate uh, out here. We have thousands of rentals in the Cleveland market, but, like, you guys have to understand, there's a lot of suburbs and things like that, right? Like, so, like, the city of Cleveland itself, folks, it's like 300,000 people. But the entire metropolitan area we operate, it's like 3, 4 million people, right? So the city of Cleveland is what y'all hear about, what y'all know about, you know, LeBron James, the Browns, Baker Mayfield, stuff like that, right? But the general area is actually much larger, right? And this is in Lorraine, which happens to be even more landlord-friendly than Cleveland. So I actually like the city of Lorraine better than the city of Cleveland in regards to good investments in the greater Cleveland market. But when I speak of the greater Cleveland market, I'm talking about the whole whole greater metropolitan area, and like 95% of the duplexes you guys could buy are not going to be side by side like this. They're going to be up, down, okay? So that means tenant A lives here, tenant B lives here, right? Fine, they make good investments, but they don't make as good of investments as side-by-sides. But like 95% of these types of duplexes, 95% of the duplexes out in this area are going to be 100-year-old up-down duplexes. This was built in 72, so for this market, that's basically new construction, right? It's like 70 years newer than the majority of duplexes, and you get the side-by-side -side layout, right? So it's very, very rare to have an opportunity to buy one of these. When they come on the market, folks, we have to strike. We have to strike quickly because you're going to get 
three things with this particular duplex that you probably won't get in the majority of other duplexes. Number one, you're going to get tenants who are going to stay longer than you normally would see in the up-down because they're side-by-side, -side, they have multiple floors, they have separate basements, they don't have to share the laundry. The sound barrier between the two is much better. You don't have somebody running around above your head or below your head, right? That's number one. Number two, you're going to get higher rents uh, because the layout provides them uh, the opportunity to have an apartment unit that feels like a house. And then the third one, which is specifically related to the age, you're going to have much lower ongoing maintenance costs than your average Cleveland area duplex with this one. So this is a solid deal, right? Now, as far as rent roll goes, we should be able to rent this thing for about 900 a piece for each unit, right? So you see there we got 800 bucks, right? 800 bucks a month, right? 21000 $600 a year. Now, that is not what the property is currently renting for, right? The property is currently renting to two tenants who are month-to-month -month tenants paying four and a quarter, right? So what we'd want to do is take it over, increase their rents. Do we necessarily want to go all the way to 900 on the first year? Probably not because we really don't want them to move out immediately, but we also are not going to rent them the units for less than 50% of market value. But we're going to take the opportunity uh, of getting below market rent tenants to get a good deal on this. The seller has listed this for, in my opinion, a price that is too low. They've listed it for only 94900 I think we need to offer 94900 900 because this thing I anticipate having multiple offers in a very short time period for everything I just explained to you right you very rarely get the opportunity to buy a property this nice right so 94.9 got to offer 94.9 and that is a freaking discount in my opinion this is really like a hundred thirty hundred forty thousand dollar property if I got this property with two tenants paying 900 bucks a month in rent folks and I'm selling it on the investment properties for sale show, I'm selling it for 140 okay? I ain't selling it for under 100 k so this is a steal. Once we get those tenants up to market rent, what would that look like, folks? Well, 1800 is scheduled to come in, but that's not reality, right? There's cost, uh, costs we need to estimate, right? Things we need to factor in considering that there's going to be real live human beings, right, in there. There's going to be variables at play. You got taxes, you got insurance, you got to pay my company to manage the investment, right? We help you guys make money, but we don't do it for free. Uh, after all said and done, I anticipate you guys uh, clearing a little bit over 11000 a year, right? 11678 is my estimate, my estimate of performance, folks, for this particular property. That is what I estimate you should probably be making uh, throughout the year with this bad boy, right? And then what does that look like when we break out the financing? Well, of the 94.9, you only got to put down 23725 Bank kicks in 71 175 and that if we can get those tenants up to market rate should average out to around a 30 percent return on your money and folks guess what we have really high interest rates compared to the last 10 years right now as i talk to you today but if they go down in the next few years guess what you can go ahead and refi that sucker back out get yourself an even better return on investment this is a solid deal it's not a question of if you uh, should buy it or not it's if you're going to be lucky enough to get this one because i assure you there's going to be multiple people trying to buy this let me know what you want to do thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment